we, a lot of us, I think, got our internships from Meet the Employer Day. I know I did. And Meet the Employer Day was really great because I got to talk to a couple different companies and kind of get a feel. So getting your internship through WCBA really helps. They, they're back up for you. So if you have a problem with your internship, they'll be there to help you. I don't know how your experience was, but I felt like it was really important um, to kind of know what you want beforehand because I think that it's as interactive as you want it to be. So I think that it's important for the students to kind of start. It's hard to know what you want, but to start on a plan when you know and WCBA will help you as long as you ask for it. Yeah, I feel like it's hard to um, get an internship without their help. Like yeah. I, would have, I yeah. wouldn't have known where to start. Yeah. So without Christina's emails. Or like what qualifies as an internship, yeah. 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 And figuring out how to navigate the internship world wouldn't have been very hard without that. I think the best part was through Youngstown you get an internship that's local a lot of times. So instead of working at minimum wage job, you do the same kind of hours and things like that, but it's with a credible company and you get that real world experience. And a lot of these companies, they kind of get passed down because like my friend is taking my position right now. So it's kind of it just trickles down through WCBA, which is really nice because the person grows in the internship and then the internship improves with the more people that actually do it. I think we're very lucky because the WCBA puts on a ton of events. So you can get some perspective from professionals that have worked in your industry. Uh, also the Meet the Employer Day, the career fairs. I think that they lay out all this opportunity for us and I think it's up to the student whether they want to take that or not. I agree with that. Um, I was the vice president of SHRM here, so kind of just being involved with a student organization at that level was really beneficial because just kind of putting my name in SHRM and being a member of it. I've talked to HR professionals from all around the world and I've talked to CPOs from companies just because they were saying, oh, your resume says SHRM, I'm a member of SHRM. And Williamson definitely encourages that and they make it very easy to connect with the professionals in your industry, which is amazing. I think the um, professors here also like make it a point to care about your future after because I know I'm a marketing major and I still have like my financial accounting professor still comes up to me and like checks in on my life and makes sure that my classes are going well and I have my life together. Um, so they all, I think, really care about how we're doing outside of the classroom. I know I just applied for a job recently and I couldn't find some information online that I was trying to find out about salary and I asked one of my professors. He sent me like a 10 page thing about the company that I wanted to work for, all this background information that I would have never found on my own. Like, so helpful. They will just help you if you ask a little bit. And it's not just the professors, things like Dean Licata is very yeah. hands on and she'll stop and talk to you. It's everyone at Y. She's very comfortable with the students and it's very engaged from Jim Trussell all the way down to you know, the front desk workers. I'm extremely glad that I stayed at YSU and came to business yeah, school. For sure. mm -hmm. I think they really set you up too for your future. Like I know I graduated in three years and I got a job before I graduated and they like will seriously help you do that if you want to do anything. I don't think we realize how good we have it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You like get to where we are. We have yeah. it really good here.